how to show your sexual side without being too easy. What an important topic. Hello, ladies, and welcome to my YouTube channel. But today, I am not by myself. I am with the amazing Alexandra Stockwell. She is a relationship and intimacy expert who shows couples and women how to build beautiful, stable, long-lasting relationships. Hello, Alexandra. How are you doing today? I'm very well. Glad to be here. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoy your content. I was watching some of your videos, blog content, and I told myself, we need to have a relationship expert. We can talk about intimacy. I know that you have also wrote a book, but I want you to introduce yourself, please, to the community that maybe some ladies doesn't know you yet, please. Yes, I'm glad to. And I actually, I'm so inspired by you because one of the, one of the formative moments for me was when I was in France. So yeah. I was conceived in Paris and then I went back when I was 21 with my mother. My parents got divorced and in so many ways, I never really trusted that I could have a wonderful, long lasting relationship because I didn't know what that really felt like from the inside. And so I've been married now for 24 years, but Amazing. when I first married my husband, I had two voices in my head, one saying, he's a wonderful man and we're happy. And the other voice saying, it's obviously not going to work. I need to pay attention so I can tell my children what a good father he used to be because that's all I knew from childhood. But what I want to share is that when I was 21 and I went to Paris with my mother, I remember going to restaurants and seeing couples who were clearly in their 50s, in their 60s. At that time, 40s felt old because I was 21. <laughs> and I saw these couples and I was just amazed at how many older couples were on dates clearly divorced and dating because they were able to bring so much of their sexual self. They were talking, they were laughing, they were enjoying dinner. The women were dressed, the men were, you know, nice. And at some point I realized, oh, they're not dating. They're not divorced and finding new love at an older generation. These are couples who've been married for 20, 30, 40 years. And that was what woke me up to what's possible in a long lasting passionate relationship and also had me know that the French have some secrets worth learning. <laughs> This is amazing. Yeah, French people, sometimes we want to build long lasting relationships. It's something really important in France and we love seduction. We love it. There is no age for seduction. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your background. How did you become this relationship expert, this intimacy expert? Because something really important. I want to know how did you start? Well, I am an MD. I'm a physician. I, I actually studied philosophy in college and then I went to medical school and I practiced family medicine for seven years. And while focused on anatomy, physiology, diagnosis and treatment, I noticed how significant relationships were. I think far more than as a physician, we have time to tend. And I had a lot of different things happen in my life and decided to take a sabbatical. And I ended up doing a number of different trainings. I met my husband the first week of medical school. He's currently a physician. And I thought things would be easier once we weren't working so hard. So for my own purposes, in order to really find my sexual self for my own marriage and to have it be passionate, like those couples I'd seen in France, I took a training in sensuality and sexuality that happened to double as a coach training. But I didn't even know what a coach was at that point. This was many years ago. I just was interested in Bringing, bringing something else to my marriage and really enjoying passion in the decades to come. But when I did this training that doubled as a coach training, I just immediately fell in love with coaching and have been coaching women and couples ever since. I've trained about a thousand coaches and 
and really devoted to using coaching as the way to really improve our lives. This is really amazing. And I receive a lot of comments from women that they want me to talk about sexuality and I'm not really an expert. That's why I bring you on this YouTube channel. The question that I really often receive is how to show that, how to show my sexual side, but without being too easy. It could be in the attraction when we date, but also in a relationship, I have found that women could be scared to be sexual. Maybe because they were told that it's bad to think about sex, to uh, do some, uh, I would say, blowjob or things like that to their men. So how can you show your sexual side without being too, ne too easy? Sorry. Well, there are so many reasons why in the Western world, and particularly in the United States, women have a lot of conditioning to either be sexual or be really smart and intelligent, to either be sexual or be a wonderful nurturing mother. And I'll say that for me at a certain point, I was unwilling to give up any of those three. I want to be brilliant, smart, accomplished in my career, a really nurturing mother. I have four children and also to really enjoy my sensuality and sexuality. So the first thing to say is be compassionate. We all have to first accept that in ourselves and to learn to bring all of who we are into our experience, particularly with our romantic partners. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I think we often really misunderstand what sex is. Of course, it's some very specific acts, intercourse, but what makes sex really great is the capacity to feel, to feel emotions, to be alive in all of the senses, visually, what you're hearing, most of all, you know, the, what, the yeah, the touch. So, it is an ongoing practice to really enjoy the experience of having a soul that lives in a body. So when you ask me, how do I show my sexual self without being too easy? I would say, well, pay attention to the textures of your clothes and wear something that feels good. Pay attention to the weight of your earrings. Do you like a big earring? Never mind how it looks for other people. Do you like having the weight there? Do you want something very light? This means more awareness and it often means slowing down. I have to say, this can sound very simple, but is very profound for any woman watching Something that I do when I want to feel more sexual and have it really be discreet is just on the inside of my arm, which is more sensitive. This is this part usually is not as sensitive, but here it's so sensitive. I will just so slowly just touch myself. This is actually very erotic but so discreet i could do it under the table and you know if i'm at a date or something and just doing something like that it lowers my voice it slows the pace of my speaking and most of all i feel more alive and full of joy so i think the real answer to your question is how can you enjoy being a whole woman, learning to enjoy that whenever you're awake, you are a sensual woman? That doesn't mean you're available for everyone to touch you. It means that you know how to enjoy yourself while still being smart and curious and silly and in a bad mood, you can be in a bad mood, but still enjoy having a sensual presence. This is a really amazing advice because basically it means that you can have everything and you can be 100% yourself. Because I understood that when women ask me, how can I show my sexual side without being too easy? They are scared 
by what people will think about themselves. So that's why I love your advice because it's all about the inner changing. So that will bring more joy, more happiness, more sexual side. And is it okay to just feel sexual all the time? Is it something that we need to train? Or it's just in the intimacy with our partner and boyfriend? Well, I think it's a real range. You know, it depends what your career is and what you're comfortable with. But the thing that I really want to say is that being sexual is for you. Not for you, Alex, but for <laughs> you, the woman watching. Because when you feel sovereignty in your sexuality, when it's not an accessory that you put on to be appealing to a man, but it is an expression of the truth of one of your flavors of being, then it's a very empowered thing. It's a very empowered way to move through the world. And sure, you can lean in, enjoy being sexual in any context or dial it down, but it, you're the one controlling the dial according to what feels good to you. And the real problem, the real reason we even have this question of how do I bring my sexual self without being too easy, that question comes from as women already as little girls and teenagers thinking that our sex is something for someone else or it's a tool that we use to achieve something with someone else, whether that's a relationship or power or whatever the case, when really our sexuality is most of all for us and then you get to decide how much of yourself you reveal with someone. But if you're letting the sensuality and sexual juices flow because you enjoy that and it is who you are, then it's never really a question about being too easy. It's only a matter of being too easy if you're doing it as a means to an end. That's something really important. So there is no end, it's for yourself. It's for what you want. How can I- It actually lines up with your book where you talk about the importance of enjoying the present moment. And I think it's, it's something that I agree with you so much. And it is also true even down to the moment to moment experience of being sensual, the key is to enjoy the present moment, which is in your body. Yeah, it's difficult because there is the stress of being too needy or too easy or what he would think about me if I can show my sexual side. And all of these fears are inside you and you can work on it. So you talk about my book. I want to talk now about <laughs> your book. So can you tell us a little bit about your book and why is it so powerful? for women and how can I, can you change their life? It actually is completely relevant to what we're talking about. Any woman watching in the Western world knows that the most common advice given is that we need to learn to compromise. And I believe the exact opposite is true as I hope that's evident in what I've said so far. The key is to learn to bring all of who you are to the relationship, which means you need to love and accept all of who you are and learn to accept all of who your partner is. So my book, it's actually called Uncompromising Intimacy. I love because it. Because I really believe this is now through data and research, practicing medicine, and it's also through what I've learned from my clients and my 24 years of marriage that being fully expressed is what leads really to the best intimacy. If we disconnect in order to make our partner comfortable or do something that, so that he's not upset, there's no switch we can flip when we get to the bedroom. We need to be all of ourselves in the bedroom and learn to bring all of ourselves to our relationship. So my book, is actually full of stories of couples who do this, a lot of my own stories, and very easy to follow tips and tools for how to bring more of who you are 
into anything you're doing and most particularly relationships with men? Do you feel that it's something women has to learn? I'm always saying that we have to learn how to love or to be yourself or to be self-confident. It's not something that we, we just born with. Maybe some people, but it's like one person. Do you feel that every woman in this earth, like Western world, but also in the Eastern side, do you feel that we can learn being um, truly ourselves, I would say, in the sexual or intimacy uh, path and situation? I absolutely do. And the good news is that it's a totally learnable skill. There are not that many places that people naturally would come to learn it, but working with you, working with me, working with other experts, it is a totally learnable skill. And so if you're not having the kind of relationships that you really want, then you need to get the kind of education. And yes, it, Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it requires hard work, but I believe it's possible for any woman who wants it. I truly believe too, and this is why we are doing this, uh, this job, this profession, and I would say that it's more than a job, it's really like a purpose uh, for us. Uh, you know, the reason why we are on my YouTube channel is because I sent an email to my list, to the people that subscribe and told me, I asked them who you want to see on my YouTube channel. And one of the lady just told me, okay, I want Alexandra because she has something special. And I understand why, because you're, so, you're giving so much power to ladies to be truly themselves. I know that you're working privately with clients and also doing group co coaching. Um, can, you bring, can you tell us a little bit more for the people that will love your philosophy, that want, the lady that wants to work with you? Um, what, how can we just... Uh, be uh, in the process of coaching with you. Well, yes, and I want to say that I'm really devoted to helping couples learn how to have fantastic relationships for their whole relationship, that the passion grows and grows, which is really possible. And I've had many single women come to me and say, I don't want to wait until I'm in a relationship. I want to know what you know now. And so I responded to that and I, work with women individually and I also have a group program for women which really is all about being the kind of woman who then ends up having a passionate partnership and instead of waiting till you have dysfunction with a man to learn it learn it so that's what you create from the outset so anyone who's interested in that you're going to post below how yes, to reach me all the links below for the book because this is an amazing book and you have to get it ladies and then if you want to go further i will include all the link maybe i will click on the link because it's for women but it's also for men <laughs> that is correct that is correct <laughs> so yeah i will include all the link and um so please go ahead click on the link discover alexandra's um, program everything uh you have a blog you have also some content that you can find on our website and feel free to continue to empower yourself ladies you deserve this intimacy and what we don't care about what people will think even this guy what is really important is your self power that's something really important the last question alexandra i want to talk about is um a little bit about for ladies not just that come from the western side but also in asia um, how can they love sex if they were told and taught that sex is not good? Is it something that you, we can work on the brain and just reprogram our brain? Because I've seen this a lot. You know, we can reprogram our brain, but I think that that is the longer route. The okay. faster route is to have very pleasurable experiences. Because if you have been trained that sex is bad, it's actually hard work to relax and enjoy sex because you feel like you're doing something you're not supposed to do. But if you can get to the point where it feels really good and you're really in the present moment, then that overpowers all of the neuronal pathways and you might still deal with a little bit of shame but it's much easier to get rid of that 
when you're not just removing something, it's one thing to take away the negative view. It's actually much more efficient to implant something positive, delicious, and compelling. It's, uh, oh my God, thank you so much. It's just an amazing advice. I would just like the final word of my, I would just give you the final word, but for me it would be, it feels. So it's possible to just focus on what you feel instead of going to the hard world. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Um, we will do other interviews if you like it. Um, just please, ladies, you have to leave your comments and your questions right below. We will be here to answer. I will include all the links and I will give you the final word, but I just want to say thank you so much. It means a lot for me to, to have you on my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to be here, Alex. I really love our conversation. I knew it would be <laughs> spicy and intelligent and really everything that we've talked about from how to be sexual without being too easy, from how to enjoy sex when you've been taught it's bad. For all of that, the key is to enjoy the present moment through actually experiencing it. And people are starting from all kinds of places. So my final word is wherever you are is a good place to start this journey. Amazing. Feel free to click on the link below, discover like in depth the work of Alexandra Stockwell. She's an amazing coach and she will help you. And I hope she will go on this YouTube channel again and again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alexandra. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.